and there's a lot of cities that are very much like that unless they're they're good teams they're in the playoffs mm -hmm. um they're, they're not doing that yeah they're not and attending their games my nephew and my nephew and my niece they they are loyal fans i i they're they're exempt from what i'm talking about but all these other fans out here are freaking caca they're straight trash they only attend the games when they're when they're winning but when they're down and out who's supporting these teams because the chicago bulls have been probably top, 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 top three in attendance top, for the last yeah, 30, in attendance. Years. Yeah, yeah this is this is insane and this is going to lead us right into the fever right the, the fever of caitlin clark and bringing in all generating that money for the WNBA and all these other um, teams are crying about it now. Uh, and I don't know if you heard the reference or what was said uh, during, you know, the, the weekend where these players are now crying about her generating revenue. Uh, but yeah. why did she get out, get at the charter or whatever? And we got oh, yeah, she, she flew a charter, I think is what from or to New York. Uh, and then the New York Liberty uh, were on the bus or something like that. You know what? It's obviously superstars are going to give superstar treatment, and right yeah. now she is the superstar of the WNBA. She right now she's the hottest thing in the NBA. In the NBA, 